I could find Tharius and Atakas in Padre, or I could look for Kleta in Bura. Pushing your luck, sir, short. Go away. You need to stay hidden. Small alleyway. Here, Cleta. Mirthios, you came. Thanks to you, these people are safe. Call me Cassandra. Looks like the stranded people are settling in well. Resources are scarce, but we make do with what we have. These people have nowhere to go. Barun, alone, far from home. I try to provide them a little bit of comfort. It's normal to be uncomfortable. Better even. That's a principle of Spartan training. It's how they become such fierce warriors. You remind me of my daughter. She was always aspiring to be better, to be great. <laughs> We all have things about ourselves that could be improved. These people will have to be their best selves if they're going to escape the Tempest. Her forces are monitoring the ships in and out of Achaea, and their control over the island is growing stronger every day. We need to get them out of here. Will you help me, Cassandra? I'll help. What do I need to do? Leaving Achaea is not going to be easy, but I've spoken to a few of the Stranded and we've come up with a plan. Find Orondas. He's overlooking the fields. He'll have more information about this. Oh, <gasps> Pietro! 
Of settling down is like a dream to me. I seem to go from one problem to the next. In that case, welcome to Vora. What brings you to Achaea? I've traveled across many seas, Mistyos. The blockade paused my journey as a merchant, but Kleta gave me a place to stay. When you've been through as much as I have, when you've weathered the most horrific and turbulent storms, you start to appreciate the simple joys in life. Like Vora. A place I could call home. I fear these quiet times won't last. All peace is hard earned. It should be treasured. My sentiments exactly. Kleta sent me to you. She said you lost your ships. Indeed. We are in troubling times, Mistyos. Achaea is growing more dangerous by the day. And we need to escape while we can. I've discussed the plan at length with Kleta. Keep looking! Guards. They've up their patrols. I caught their attention at the fort. They're looking for more stranded. We mustn't let them disrupt our peace, Mistyos. Deal with them quietly if you can. I'll get Kleta and the rest to higher ground. I have to stop them before they get to the village. Another one. Be careful. Remember what happened at the fort. Guards on horseback. Ah! <laughs> 
Dios, you prevailed. Thank you, Cassandra. I... I knew they were on the move, but I didn't think it would be so soon. We need to set our plan in motion. Tell me what needs to be done. We need a mode of transport across the Aegean. The ships we came in were taken when we arrived in Vora by the foremen of the docks. Perhaps we can strike a deal with the foreman to get them back. I have the time to help you now. In that case, we should bring you up to speed on the foreman situation. I'm listening. He's quite a character. I've heard rumors that he frequents a tavern in Pelini, and drinks as if to endlessly worship the Onisos. Word is, he doesn't take well to mercenaries. I can get people to like me. I'm sure you have your ways, Miss Dias. My daughter, she always loved the water. As a girl, she always wanted to steer when we rode out to sea. As she got older... I've never stopped wondering if she will come back to me. Do you have any idea where your daughter went? She left without a word. Every day, I yearned for her return. I sometimes think I've lost her for good. Tell me more about your daughter. As a child, she was unusually strong. People would say her goals and ambitions soared far beyond the norm. Her strength wasn't the only thing. <laughs> Her temper matched that of Poseidon in a storm. There must be a reason why you're telling me about your daughter. My Phil. She captains the Skilla now. Your daughter is the Tempest? It's been years since I've heard from her. I, I, I pushed her too much, too far. And now it feels like I've pushed her away forever. She's an adult now. She makes her own choices. Don't blame yourself. Now isn't the time to dwell on the past. Orondas needs our help. I'll go to Bellini and make myself useful. Here, Cassandra.
is the man we're looking for, Miss Dias. Hera! Hera, my friend! <laughs> uh, I, I recognize you. I took your ships, didn't I? At the docks! <laughs> We've come to get those ships back. Why would be my first question. But then I realized I don't really care. <laughs> because you're a Mystios! <laughs> Let bygones be bygones, my friend. We drink! Except for the mercenary. Now! Sail away from me! <laughs> All right, you can't. <laughs> It seems like it'd be easier to silence you and your crew, then take back the ships. See? Your kind is always thirsty for bloodshed. Violence is not always the answer, Mistyos. This is why I hate mercenaries. They think violence solves everything. I can still hear you. Fine. Calm down. If you want to deal, we must do it like civilized individuals. What do you propose? Helping you would cost more than my left arm. If I am to risk incurring the Tempest's wrath, there should be a sizable benefit for me. I heard valuables can be found at Shipwreck Cove, not far from here. Or I could always use more Drachmi. Hmm? You can buy wine with Drachmi. I'd rather not run around. Here's your Drachmi. <laughs> now we're talking. And make sure it's enough. Uh, my friendship doesn't come cheap. A deal's a deal. I never go back on my word. Only a dishonorable Malakas will break an oath. I'll give you your ships back. But good luck getting past the Tempest. Just take a good look outside at all those wrecks, Mistios. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thanks to you, Mistios. We have what we need. Now, we... Horondas! Cassandra! Mistios, no need for bloodshed. I just need you to come quietly, please. Releasing the stranded people has angered the Tempest. Someone just needs to take responsibility and everyone will be fine. Take me, then. They have nothing to do with this. I'm the one you're after. We have done enough. There's no need to escalate this further. Promise me that you will see our plan through to the end. She's becoming someone I don't know. No matter what happens, blood is blood. She's still your daughter. Parents always believe in their children. As foolish as that may be. I should have stopped her sooner. Stopped her from joining the Order. I should have. When the time comes to face the Tempest, I feel... What will you do, Cassandra? I'll do my best to bring her back. I was so proud of her. I don't think I ever told her that. There are still so many things I wish I had said. I should go help the rest. We'll meet up in Patre when we're ready. Thank you, Cassandra. For everything.
be spotted here. Out of the way! Look, a weapons demonstration. Oh. We weren't expecting you, Tempest. My weapons, Lieutenant. Where are they? They're installed, but not tested. Fire them. But it's not stable. Fire them. You stay here. by tomorrow. Yes, uh, Admiral. The skiller awaits my return, but first I will inspect your work in the shipyards and see what else you idiots have managed to mess up. Move! The Tempest. This won't be easy, especially if they get that weapon to work. manage to harness that kind of power, the Adrestia might not be able to match it. I don't think a fleet could. We need to be a step ahead. Sounds like you have a plan. We need to go after her. If we can end things here, we're all the better for it. We need to catch her. Let's go to the shipyard. It's not too far. Come on. and rebuild them from scratch. The shipyard. The Tempest will be easier to find if we split up. The woman in charge, do you know her? I... I don't know anything. Please leave me alone. Something doesn't feel right. The Tempest can't find me! She'll kill me! The weapons aren't ready! They are not ready! <sighs> the woman who came by here... Where is she? She left, I hope. Poseidon, save us! Something is out there. Or someone. I'm looking for the woman who runs this place. The weapon is not ready! It's not! It's... <laughs> <laughs> the 
Tempest must have torn through this place. Someone is following me. Have you seen the woman in charge here? Don't let them hear you. There are eyes and ears everywhere. I didn't find the Tempest. I found this. The Order suspects we're in Achea. They've tasked the Tempest with capturing us. We walked into a trap. Father, he'll need to hear about this. Quickly! We're being followed. No, we're being hunted. There, that warehouse. I'll draw their attention and hide. You can take it from there. No, I'll run to the warehouse and get their attention. Have it your way, but don't leave me behind. I won't. I want you to have my back. That's more like it. Go, go! They'll be on high alert soon. Tempest is. What's her plan? <laughs> She's building a weapon to be installed on her ship, the Skilla. And she's locked down all of Achea to trap you, Eagle Bearer. There's nowhere left to run. The Skilla will blow you out of the water. Her fleet will crush you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never defeat her. Go. I'll see your father first, then meet you at the ship hideout. If the Tempest is looking for us, then destroying her fleet should get her attention. Almost had the tempest. Be safe, Natakas. I'll see you later at the ship hideout.
orders, Commander. Get ready to set sail! Who's ready? Help with something. Come to see the richest man in Achaia, have you? You don't look rich. Tch. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. There is only one thing that makes a person rich. Drachmi. The only people who say otherwise don't have any. Ah! <laughs> a mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> Relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm... 
Cassandra. And I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Cassandra. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsome. So, you get the theorems, and I get a reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Tell me about Zeno's Paradox. Myself excluded. <laughs> Zeno Evelia was the world's brightest philosopher, known for writing paradoxes that could stump anyone. His work was thought destroyed. But I happen to know the priests in Locris saved it. About the golden ratio... Ah, the divine number. It's a guiding principle in architecture, sculpture, and is found in nature too. The original is wasting away in the dirty hands of sculptors in Argos. It should be with a mathematician. Like me. <laughs> Where am I going to find the Pythagorean theorem? It's all around you, of course. Deceptively simple, but subtly mysterious. The equation was apparently etched in stone. I heard the tale, it was lost in sunken ruins between three islands that form a triangle. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. Here they are. Getting ready for something? Good. You're finally here. You mentioned something big is about to happen in Achaea. I've heard that the Tempest chief engineer is developing a new weapon. Natakas and I saw her try the weapon at the docks. It's not working yet, but it will be a problem when it does. He's trying to flee Achaea. If he does want to escape, maybe we can convince him to help us defeat the Tempest. 
He's attending the shipbuilding symposium at the amphitheater here in Achaea. I can head over to the amphitheater now. There seems to be a discussion about a plan, a secret weapon for the Tempest. The chief engineer should have more information about it. Sounds easy enough. The answer to the code word, I am Poseidon's chosen. <laughs> sure. The chief engineer is amongst the attendees. Seek him out. That blade means a lot to you. Where does it come from? I forged it myself. But it's more than a blade to me. It's a choice. It takes skill to get so close to a target. <laughs> That's the point. What do you know about the Tempest? She must have been planted by Amorgis. I'm not familiar with the Tempest, but I wouldn't put anything past Amorgis. He's only ever had one thing on his mind. Lasting prosperity for Persia. No matter the price. What convinced you to help the stranded people, Darius? Uh, Natakis's heart is in the right place, and I want to encourage that. But the moment we're done, we're leaving the Greek world for good. I'll head to the amphitheater now and find the chief engineer. The chief engineer is here. But I don't know exactly who it is. It should be easy enough. The code word is, I am Poseidon's chosen. This looks like the place Darius mentioned. No, I thank you for coming. I speak of the noble history of Greek shipbuilding. In this wonderful historic amphitheater set within prosperous Achaea, I think it appropriate to reflect upon that ancient duty of which, with all modesty, we have become masters. It is we, the Greeks, who took the world from the humble monarch's Leon to the Papirella. I'm Poseidon's chosen. Right, and I'm Ira's harlot. What? What do you mean, what? Go away. I'm trying to pay attention here. As the oceans slowly relinquish their I am Poseidon's... Idiot. What? You're not his chosen, you're his idiot. I could hear you from here, pestering people. Who told you about me? Lucky for you, the gods have sent me to solve your problems. I heard you wish to flee Achaea? Uh, I don't know about gods, but your spies seem fairly well informed. Yes, fairly. Well, if the Tempest had sent you, I'd be dead by now. I need a way to defeat her. Like this weapon I've heard about. The Chimera's breath. My greatest creation, but also my greatest regret. I left before they could force me to complete it. Without my finishing touches, it will never work as intended. more about this secret weapon. What does it do? It's meant to... Installation is the tricky part, though. If done incorrectly, it backfires. Horribly. You worked with the Tempest. What can you tell me about her? She's a ruthless, emotionless creature. But the scariest part about her is her strategic brilliance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more perfect commander. You said you want out of here. Do you have a plan? The only way out is through the Tempest. Trust me, I've exhausted every other option I can think of. That's my wife up there. And now I've put her life at risk, too. You're taking a big risk by sharing your secrets with me. No. I'm betting on you to destroy the Tempest for me. 
Get your hands on the plans, and I can install the Himera's breath on your ship. With it, you can destroy her entire fleet. I must do something to right this wrong. If the Himera's breath is as powerful as you say it is, it would be helpful. Once I'm done with your ship, it will crush the Skilla. So, how do I get the plans? The Tempest's fleet commander has them. He's manning the naval blockade. While you're gone, I'll get to work. The plans are written in a code that only I can read. So even when we have them, it'll take some time. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Good. I was wondering how we could clear the blockade. I'll take care of... from here where can we go from here can we improve